All right, hey guys, here we are, hole number four, and it looks like we have a very large tailwind here. So interestingly enough, you can see uh, opponent here has extra mile nine. Really can almost start to go for the green with this wind. Um, you know, I kind of have a less advanced bag. Um, if you were going to go for the green, I would recommend doing it with a tight. I don't know why you wouldn't, you know, extend up to a Titan here. Let's see how this works out. Just gets on there. Oh, bounces right through there. A little bit easier to do. You know, you can back off the power a little bit, focus on perfect ball. What we're going to do in this case, you know, I'm thinking something along the lines of big topper here. Biggest reason, because the most top spin you have is going to make this get up the way that you want. And we are going to go into some overpower with some curl, kind of like this. <clears throat> it looks like we're just clipping the bunker. So that's the only problem with the big topper is the accuracy. You know, I caught a great ball and just barely enough cur curl not to get over that bunker uh, or to the side of it. And that's one of the reasons that I'm curling it back so hard to the left is to make sure that I just get out into the fairway. Now I'm just going to pitch this one out for this time because I want to make sure, well, as long as this doesn't go in. So, um, you know, in the event you do clip this bunker, I can try to walk you through it. It's still technically holdable sometimes. It really just kind of depends on the lie you get. So you can see that I can kind of duck this under here and you can see that it will roll out in these cases. If you can get kind of that perfect alignment here, you know, we could try to go towards this front of the fringe here and try to land right on this first fringe. Now, all I'm gonna do here is I'm really only going to pitch out to, you know, somewhere over here because this is, you know, kind of where I was trying to get my tee shot to. I only wanted to get it kind of right to here. So had it not clipped the bunker, it would have rolled out this far. Um, you know, if you have a little bit more advanced clubs, if you have Apocalypse or whatever, if you have something with about 60 topspin, you're going to be able to get it up to where I did. Um, and the more accuracy that you have, the less chance, you know, if I would have been using Apocalypse, for instance, or Thor's Hammer, it probably would have had enough accuracy that I wouldn't have uh, clipped that bunker there. Now, one of the things that you'll see here, um, I'm going to have to go with the pitch. Um, I'd rather go with the short iron, so I like to curl it a lot to really create that extra distance because it's a little bit tougher to make with the wedge. Now we are gonna to have to go for this and this is about 1.4-ish per ring, maybe almost five rings, just a little bit under five, I'm thinking 4.9 here. And then other than that, you know, I'm playing things like, um, you know, kind of like the wind effect and a little bit of top spin just to make sure that it runs out to the hole and it just, just pulled over to the left. So just, you know, just a hair more rings there, but it's going to be very holdable. Now, if you guys want to see, uh, you know, that same method with a, um, you know, it's a little bit different wind, but, uh, you know, you could still play it with a short iron. Um, you can check out my expert video. I'm not going to run this um, a second time just to get at the short iron, but if you want to see kind of a min short, short iron shot, you can at least you know, check out um, my one of my expert guides where I actually do go for that with a min short iron. So that would be ideal. It's, in my opinion, more holdable. Uh, a short iron is more holdable than the wedge is because it, it stays lower in the air. You don't have to play wind, wind effect as much. There's almost none at min club. Whereas with the wedge at max club, it goes super high in the air. There's almost always wind effect and you'll see the most common miss is the one that I just did, which is the, the wind pushes the ball more in the direction of the wind. So you'll see that the person under adjusts the, the most common. So, you know, keep that in mind. Good luck with that hole. I'll catch you guys on five.